Thank you. I was asked to share a very brief thought on the <clears throat> Jewish contribution to Western civilization. And I'd like to do it by basing it on the ideas of a scholar who is not Jewish. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> John Verveke is a neuroscience professor and a colleague of Dr. Peterson at the University of Toronto. And in his uh, well, well acclaimed lecture series entitled Awakening from the Meaning Crisis, he describes what he calls the grammar of all of Western thought as having originated from the Jewish Bible or the Torah. This grammar is the lens through which we view our lives and all of history. History is not, as the ancients once thought, an endless, unchanging, and inescapable cycle, but rather it possesses a linear dimension, one with a beginning, a middle, and an end. We are going somewhere. In other words, believe it or not, the Torah brought to the world the concept known today as progress. Ever since then, we have understood the human story as a narrative in three parts. It began in harmony with ourselves and each other and the world, then descended into fracture and chaos. But the, the principles of monotheism necessitate that what began in unity must end in unity. And therefore, we look towards a hopeful future, one that gives us the faith that redemption is not only possible, but maybe even inevitable. This pattern has been represented by the shofar blast that I just played you, a series of three notes beginning in unity, then broken up in staccato and ending in a longer and more unified whole. And I believe it echoes the sentiments of this conference, attempting to recapture that hope for the future amidst a sea of negativity. Even in these times, despite the, um, the recent atrocities that were visited upon the Jewish people in their homeland, and the tragic realities of the unfolding war, we nonetheless remain committed to that hope. I am honored to represent a living tradition that has contributed so much in the way of the respect for the dignity of every human being as it says we are all created in the image of God. For the compassion that we must show to the vulnerable and the oppressed as we too were once slaves in Egypt. And to our commitment to the law of the divine in its ability to maintain a just society. But perhaps I am most proud of the fact that the Jewish people have given the world a language of progress, one that not only makes it possible for us to dream of a better future, but also places upon us the responsibility to help make that dream a reality. Thank you.